guys and welcome back to another episode of SquareXO on the news. Before we start, don't forget you can follow us at squarexo.co.uk, twitter.com slash square underscore xo, facebook.com slash square xo, we're at patreon.com slash square xo, we're also on twitch tv slash square xo, and you can also find us on iTunes, Podbean, Spotify, and other podcast services, as well as youtube.com slash Joe Anson Mota. Okay, let's get started then. Today we're going to be talking quite a bit about the Nintendo Switch actually because the financial results up to the end of December have been out and there's some quite interesting facts. But before we started, just a bit of breaking news is that Dark Siders War Mastered Edition has been announced for Nintendo Switch. Now I'm pretty excited about this personally because I love Dark Siders, it's one of my favourite games. And the War Mastered Edition is actually a really good version of the game. They've really remastered it well and it looks fantastic on PS4, the Xbox One and also the PC which it's already available on. So the War Master Edition is coming to Switch. There's no word on the other two games but this is the basically the first game and it's coming out on April 2nd 2019 and I believe it's 25 99 so it's not too bad. So yeah, worth checking out because it's a really good, great game and it's got one of the best endings ever, believe me. Okay, speaking of Switch. Apparently, Switch hardware sales are up 20% year on year. The Switch has now sold 32 million units in total since its launch, with software at 163 million units since launch. Apparently, game sales were up 100% year on year, and all of Nintendo's new releases were hits. Super Mario Party has sold 5.3 million copies. Pokemon Pikachu Let's Go and Eevee sold 10 million copies. Super Smash Bros. 12.08 million copies and Nintendo is now predicting it will sell 17 million consoles for the year ending April 1st, March 31st. It had originally predicted 20 million but it's put that down a little bit to 17 million but even still it's pretty, it's going pretty well. 20 Switch games are now million sellers although 8 of those are actually from third parties rather than Nintendo so well, 12 are Nintendo published, 8 aren't, so that's pretty good as well. It's good to see that there's other people, other publishers on there making million pound games rather than just Nintendo. So that's, that's what we want, diversity. Super Mario Odyssey is now the best selling 3D Mario game ever. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the fastest selling Nintendo game ever. And the best selling Switch game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which has sold 15 million units. Again, pretty impressive. That's nearly half of Switch owners. Probably a bit, yeah, nearly half of Switch owners. That's pretty good. So, yeah, Nintendo Switch is killing it at the moment. 32 million units sold. I'm not sure how many Xboxes sold worldwide. It must be getting up to what, 50 million now? Sony's at 90 million. So, Switch is catching up pretty fast, really, so it's very impressive. Okay, today's next bit of news is for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice from from Software, and apparently it'll be extremely difficult were we expecting anything less from the makers of Bloodborne, probably not. But apparently the game has a respawn mechanic, but it cannot be abused as it uses up the resources, and therefore uh, you can't... <laughs> You can't use it twice in a row. <laughs> so if you're dying a lot, you're just... Uh, I don't know, there's going to be a lot of checkpointing in this game, isn't there? I'm not sure how I can cope with that one. Uh, XP and currency are apparently divided up so that the former is put in your skill tree and the cash will be used to splash out in items. But obviously, you're just going to struggle. And that's just the way it's going to be. Apparently, creator Hidey... I'll try and say his name right, Hideki Miyazaki was quoted as saying that in the fights between ninjas there will always be risk of death and players will be sitting at the edge of their seat each time and go from one thrilling fight to the next. So in order to realise this, we ended with a game in which players die a lot, he said laughing. <laughs> uh, it was also confirmed that Shadows Die Twice will feature multiple endings with each run through also getting harder. So if you want a challenge, it sounds that like Shakiro Shadows Die Twice is going to be the game for you. Uh, the game arrives in PlayStation 4, PC and Xbox One on March 22nd. 
Okay, what else we got here? Uh, the private beta for the division will kick off, the division 2, sorry, will kick off on February 7 at 9 a.m. Apparently, the division 2's beta will offer a selection of main and side missions as well as additional activities in the open world. So there's going to be plenty to do from that. But there's also three new dark zones to sample, as well as player versus player, often named skirmish. So there's going to be a mode called skirmish where you can play against our players. Three dark zones and also a selection of main and side missions, as well as additional activities to do in the open world as well. So quite a lot. The beta will run for four days and can be pre-loaded 24 hours before launch. Division 2 beta will also include a teaser of its endgame content in the shape of an invaded mission. So this will be available on February 8th at 9am. The Division 2 arrives on March 15th and that's coming to PS4, PC and Xbox One. So yeah, there's quite a lot to do in the beta. So if you are considering pre-ordering, you should probably do it and get a taste of the beta. Because, I mean, it's always nice to see what's new, isn't it? And generally, the beta gives you a good good idea of what to expect, doesn't it? Like I said, I think it was yesterday we were talking about the Division 2. Like I said yesterday, I, I really liked the first game. I thought it was really good. I liked the world. I liked the snowy map. Uh, I just thought it was really nice. It looked really nice. It played really nice. It was a really fun game to play. I thought I did get fed up it eventually, but yeah, I did really enjoy it actually, so I'll probably be checking that one out myself. Right, apparently, this is kind of like a rumour, just sort of breaking rumour, shall we call it. There's a new PS4 firmware beta coming soon. It's 6.50, and one of the features, I can't confirm, this is 100% true by the way, but one of the features allows you to swap the O and the X to confirm and cancel, so like more like... Uh, Japanese games, they tend to muddle the O and the X the wrong way around, and a lot of people like that. So uh, I think it's probably a feature for people who are in Japan and also people who like to play games on things like Nintendo because they kind of switch the buttons around sometimes, don't they? And it can get a bit confusing. So the people who are more used to that way of playing will be getting this feature, which will allow them to switch the buttons around so that's quite a good idea it's quite a nice idea to be honest i'm so used to the x and o doing what they do um it's not something that's really going to bother me too much but i still think the fact that they're given the option is quite a nice thing okay right one last thing i try and do a little poll on on our twitter.com slash square underscore xo now and again i try and do one every day if i can but a lot of the time i forget or i just don't know what to do a poll about because I've just not thought of something. Uh, so today I decided to do one again and I just asked the simple question are you excited for next gen consoles? Now so far we've had 110 votes and it's 50-50 would you believe? We have someone made in underscore blue he says he's excited for both but uh, out of all those votes it's completely even. I said are you excited? Bring it on, or 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 no? My back, my backlog is crazy, and fifty percent have opted for my backlog is crazy, and fifty percent have opted for bring it on. So there you go. It's dead even. Whether people are excited for the next gen consoles or not, personally, I'm excited. But yes, my backlog is pretty crazy, so I need to get that out of the way before I start getting excited for all these new games that are no doubt going to come to the new consoles. Okay, so that's today's news. I hope we've covered everything you want to hear. We'll be back again tomorrow for another Square XO on the news. But in the meantime, thanks for joining us. Please leave a like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye.